Hello, hello, hello everyone. It is Kira's Art Journey, aka Kaj, and we're back with another art study video. So this time I will be studying boats. So boats, yeah. So I know last time I was like, oh, I'm going to do multiple boats, which is true, but I don't know how many of those boats I will get through. So I plan on doing an art study or just, you know, a study drawing or however you say it. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, of a raft, a rowboat, a sailboat, a speedboat, and a ship. So, yeah, I'm trying to get all that. So, let's get on into it and see how this study go. All right, everyone. So, these are my references that I will be using for guidance and practice with the drawing ugly boats so again i will be drawing a raft or studying to draw a raft a rowboat sailboat um speedboat and okay i'm not drawing i'm gonna let y'all know off rip right now i'm not drawing the ship i'm not drawing the ship on this video but i will do a separate video where i go into like try to go into depth or whatever on studying how to draw this ship and it's going to be a passenger ship so anyways let's get into uh, the video at hand so you see here i have imported in the first reference of liraf and if you notice my mouth running <laughs> on the video uh that because i was talking right as it was like I was going to be doing a um right then and there uh voiceover type thing or whatever however you want to put it but unfortunately as always my freaking audio wasn't on so here we are doing the voiceover again but anyways yeah 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 so now what I'm doing here is I looked at the reference there, but I'm also looking at another reference off screen. So my idea was draw a log, right? Duplicate the log and lay some wood on top of those logs. And boom, a basic raft. So I'm going to uh, speed up the video for you guys to see how I did that. And I also, I actually do, I actually did two rafts. But I'm going to let y'all see that. They're kind of cartoony though. Well, one of them kind of cartoony. But it is what it is. So let's get to it. see that it is really 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 sketchy at this point i'm like just just going with the flow just just putting down what's in my mind right now and what i think and what i see a rap should look like you know um it's a little bit from imagination and a little bit from references as well so now I'm just lowered down the opacity and I'm going to go in and make it look like something a little bit. So speed up the video on this. Okay, so now what you finna see me do is get the lasso tool, lasso the wooden part on the top, and cut and paste it and continue to duplicate that all the way to the end. I'll be doing some adjustments with the wood on the bottom 
and everything just to make the wrap look a little sturdy and everything. Well, not sturdy, but make it look like, I don't know, just make it look like a freaking wrap, I guess. <laughs> I'm finna do the next thing the next up the next thing I'm finna do is another Ralph but this one's gonna be from a different perspective so yeah I'm going to speed the video for you guys can see how I do that okay so notice how I started off kind of like with a um perspective type thing going on there so yeah this is almost like a perspective study in a way but with a raft as well so i yeah i just wanna you know instead of just doing exactly like the references and everything i want to throw in some uh, some past studies that i have done also I call it the pencil cell. Ha ha ha, I get it. Pencil cell? Wait, there's nothing to get. Nothing at all. But anyway, so now I'm going to go through and clean it up, you know, and that would be it for the wraps. Robots. 
So, with the robo, I'm basically doing, like, quick sketches over it to, um, basically get an understanding of the shapes and the 3D form of it. So, you're going to see me here. I did the top shape of it. And then, I'm going to go into doing the inside of it. Oh, also, of course, I'm going to mimic it while doing so. And I'm going to see how the outside of it make it 3D, how the inside make it 3D looking, you know. Not the not for the boat or the rowboat to look like a freaking flat shape on the screen. So, you know, everything that we do when we study, we want to make an object 3D, okay? So, that's what I'm doing here. So, you can see I'm putting like the inside shading. And then you're going to see me do the outside and whatnot. So, yeah. So, I'm going to speed it up from here. So now I am looking at a different reference off screen and we're going to do like those square type rowboats, right? So um, I'm drawing it out here and then I'm going to, you know, shape it out. <laughs> My favorite word, shape it out. And I was like, right here, I was like, oh, snap thing kind of looked like a, a coffin or something. <laughs> but hey, don't, wait, 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 pause, don't. Don't they do? They kind of do like little square robots are kind of like scrape coffins. I don't know, man. Oh no, that just that just that just tell me something out there in that water and stuff. You know, you like in a a floatable coffin or something. But anyways, um, here I am. I'm doing the lines. You know, add in the seeds, and it's gonna be really really sketchy. Then I'm gonna go back over it and make it a little more cleaner. So I'm gonna speed it up from here. Okay, so it's done. It is totally, uh, I could have had the edges on the side to be a little more straighter, but hey, I like it. I like it. So now we're going to move on over into doing the sailboat. Now the sailboat, I can say, um, didn't really give me a hard time, but there was some little hiccups I had and thinking about the um in in the perspective that I was doing it the first time so yeah but that second one it's a little cartoony because I looked at a little cartoon uh reference but I don't care it's a freaking sailboat and I'm understanding it <laughs> but okay so I'm gonna speed it up from here
Okay, so of course I am shaping out the bolt, um, tracing over it, trying to understand the shapes and everything. And I did do a little oopsie there because one of them did not go straight down. You will see me correct it right there. Right there, right there. So, yeah. And then I'm going to go in and uh, try to re replicate that. Okay, now I am about to go in and do the little cartoony sailboat. So, it's going to be quick, but it's going to look like something, and I'm proud of it. So, check it out. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, so y'all see how I'm doing my little elbow. It looked like something out of a um, coloring book or something, right? For the little ones. <laughs> I went by doing something like that. Like a just a boat coloring book or something as a project or something. But yeah, so this is my um, sailboat. And I am very happy of it, to be honest. Because it actually <laughs> looked like something with the shapes and everything. I think the shapes came out pretty well. Um, one day I will tackle doing a more realistic one in a way. Okay, now I am about to tackle trying to do a speedboat. So, I'm going to be hard-headed on this one here. So, I'm going to be looking at the reference and everything. But, I did not go over the, um, the shape of it like I did the other ones. I did not, you know, trace over it to get the shape, get an understanding of the shape. Here, I am being a heart behind and just trying to eyeball it and yeah man listen i was i was mad at myself for doing it but i, I was doing it anyway as uh i don't know what is going to benefit <laughs> from me doing it like this as in practice but it might benefit something i don't know but i do recommend you know for us for like most starters and everything just go over it, you know, just get the shapes down first. I did it with the first couple, you know, but I'm just, I'm just trying my best out here right now. And I was boohoo crying, well not boohoo crying, but you know, I was complaining to myself and everything like, what the heck, does it go like this? Is it like that? Ain't that ankle this way? Is that shape like this? Is that shape like that? Man, this is, you know, my god darn nerves. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm gonna speed it up and let y'all see the rest of it. I mean, at one point the thing came out looking like a whistle. I ain't gonna like it pissed me off. But I did two of them. I did two of them. So um, let's check it out.
So this is my speedboat. I didn't even bother to color it. Well, I didn't color any of it, but I didn't bother to color it. So, um, yeah, this is my little speedboat. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this speedboat, this first one, in the comments below. Because I swear it looks like a freaking whistle. You know, one of them kazoos or something. And that would spray me to a, 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 a thought. So, most things out there that we um, see on a bigger scale probably can't like start it off very small like a very small concept like someone probably seen a freaking bottle and made a a house that's kind of resemble a freaking bottle as inspiration and stuff you know so someone seen a uh and also you know a little a little science come into play with it you know is it efficient enough for it and whatnot but again <laughs> like someone seen a freaking whistle and like dang that will make a hot boat a hot speed boat and it's like and you know like boat dynamics or whatever the case is but anyway now i'm going into my second speed boat here and i think the second speed boat is better this is a little more cartoony like, like i think i think that what from for me basically is maybe start off with the little cartoony look at first and then try to go into a little more realistic realism and stuff and i need to work on my shapes as in, I need to work on my lines being more confident with the um, with the cleanup process and more straight and clear or not clear isn't the word neat. I say neat more more neater. But anyways. Uh... Alright guys, so I said I was gonna do a ship, but I might say this I must not I might I will save the ship for another time. But I did get up into the speedboat and I'm gonna tell you this one right here. Speedboat number one. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like it. But that's why we practice to get better, right? So, um, what all we, what all have we done? So we have two speed boats, and I was looking at references, of course, on most of these. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. So let's move this one over. We're gonna just shim them all together. So we got our speed boats. God darn it, wrong thing. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> That has been this here study of different boats to draw, but I will come back with another video. Um, basically doing the basically doing the um ship, <laughs> you know. I'm basically gonna be a passenger ship. I will try my best. I will try my best at that. I'm going to break it down. Then we're going to go into it. Like break down the shapes. Go into it. And then 
try to uh, make one. <laughs> and I'm gonna add color and stuff. So yeah. So in the meantime, remember, keep drawing, keep going, don't stop, and catch you on the next art study video, guys. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check me out over on Twitch Monday, Tuesday, and Thursdays. Keep drawing, keep going, don't stop, art grinders.